through. We haven't put up much content lately. We've been tied up with all sorts of different things, COVID and all sorts of other stuff going on. So life gets in the way sometimes, but we're off. We're heading to a river that um, hopefully has a few fish in it at the moment. I know they've been getting hit pretty hard there, but um, we'll give it a go. They've had a bit of runoff there. They've been, still been getting showers and stuff, so which is unusual for this time of year, but it's the right time of year for it, so bring it on. Um, we're going to try a few different things. We had smaller tides this weekend to what we had last weekend. We had huge tides last weekend, so we're going to try and um, see if we can find some more fish down towards the mouth, more so than further up the river. Is it dog? Is it? I'm just walking across the road up here. Cow. Yeah, the cow on the road. Right, apple seas on the water. Alright, we got a late start, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens today. There's a bit of dirty water, there's a bit of fresh water, which is going to be sort of interesting as well but just in there some bait just got smashed so it says there's fish feeding which is a good thing as long as they're feeding on paddle ponds there's bait in there too you can see bait flicking right in amongst the snow mm. get one up in there Hang on that sound. Oh, yep. Oh. So we're going to try this bank here because it's it's not um, going back far enough for the fish to disappear out of reach. And it's also near the river mouth, which is going to improve the clarity because there's a fair bit of fresh still coming in. <clears throat> so we'll go along here and see if there's any jacks and barrows, and if there's not, then we'll just start looking somewhere else. Not big tides today, only 2.5 metre tides, so we'll uh, see what we can find anyway. See if we can find some sort of pattern. I just dropped a barrow just there. Not a real big one, but it was a barrow. <clears throat> Looked like it must have just come out of the fresh, he had a black tail on him. So he was sitting up in there. Sometimes you can tell when your lure's about to get eaten because all the bait fish around your lure all of a sudden shower up in the air and all of a sudden your line comes tight. So. We haven't kept a barra for a while so that's our ambition today, to get one for a feed. Oh, I missed him. Oh, he's back. Oh, there you go. Big pikey. Wow. Oh, don't tell me I didn't get that. Hmm. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yep. Yep. Very much bearish. It was right there. Busted off. Just took us a few casts to get a proper bite, but just in the in here just grabbed it and took off and sheared me off. Straight in my face and just missed the barrier just there. Oh, 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 I have a spot locker there. He's a good fish. No, it's a friggin' GT up in the sticks. You're kidding. Oh, what was that? How disappointing is that? I thought that was a monster. So did I. The way he flew out from like in the sticks and ate it. I, yeah, I thought it was a like 50 plus tail grass. I know it sounds stupid being disappointed to catch a beautiful fish like that, but when you think it's a really big jack, that's... 
Yeah, yeah no, like not good. He's only a little bubba. Only about that long. Yeah. Oh hey. my god, that Big is archer. the biggest archer I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's the biggest archer I've ever seen. That's a big one, yeah. He was like that. I don't get much bigger than that. He's thick, he's wide across the body. Yeah. I thought it was a jack. Mm. I'm gonna be able to resist that. Well, eh? your archers are gonna smash that. Yeah. But if a little jack that size, it's Oi. a boy. What the hell is that? That is another monster archer. Where the hell are oh, these? The size of these things? My god, that is. Oh, that's hey. even bigger than the other one. Bloody hell. He's got no spots. Ah! Do a close up, show a close up of the mouth on these things. I will if I don't stop him. He's that big, he's lost his spots. Oh, uh, you can sort of see him now. Oh, yeah, yep. I think he's got marks on his. Oh, wow. Yeah. I don't know if it was a jack or a barrow, but it, it hit hard and it was a decent sized fish because I can see the. I saw the fish. Yep. Oh, got him. Oh, my God, it's another archer. Really? No, it wasn't that. Yeah, it it was is. bigger than, Yeah, but it was, it was bigger than that, though. <laughs> the legal size. Yeah. Yep. I just moved my right over there. All that archer activity got him going. Yeah. He'd be close to legal. Mm. He was right down deep, eh? Was he really? Yep. You go, just move that net, buddy. I'll get the other. My little rod. Mm. That's Come so on. much fun with it. He's got, he's got a yellow tail on him. Yeah. Very good. Oh, he's, That's a bit better. He's got more of a yellow tail on him. Yeah. Much more good. Jack, isn't it? Came from that grass. Yeah. I don't know what it was. Came from just there, like it was a solid bite. Like... Oh, that was a big mullet. mullet. But he followed it for like 15 feet trying. <clears throat> There's got to be a barrel or a jack or something on here. Mm. Felt like a little barrel, yeah. Ooh, that's, that's a bigger, a that's barrel. a bigger barrel. Get the net ready in case we get an early shot. Uh, spot lock. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, I put his back lure then. Ah, what the hell? Lua's just here. Yeah. Come back here. Thanks, mate. <laughs> I thought he spat your Lua. <laughs> oh, oh, he spat it again. Hard body. Sounder says it's 11 foot deep here. And there's fish right on the bottom, so... Like out away from where we just got that barra then. Lots of snags out from it, but there's fish sitting on it, so. Put the 90 mil scorpion back on. Yep. Old faithful. Yep. Oh, oh straight into a snag. Oh. I thought he busted again. Mm, so did I. You won't be back. Yep. Oh, you sure? Then again, maybe you will. The dead fish shark. up in here. Yeah, it's a shark, Dad. See the pictorials? Yep, that's a shark. It is. Something's eating it. Might be a big mud crab, eh? Might be a big muddy chewing on it. Or croc. Or... No, it's yeah, a it's a big muddy. <laughs> wow. Don't go anywhere. God, look at the size of it. Hey. The size of it. When you get that, I'll get this. So what we've done, we've come up into a drain, sort of up from where we started. And the water clarity is not too bad. We've tried hard bodies, we've tried plastics, but plastics, because the fish are holding tight in the snags, like real tight in the structure, seems like weedless plastics are definitely the go. Be good to be able to fish hard bodies here, but it just get too frustrating trying to get them out with the trebles on them. So we're finding a few, but we've missed a couple of nice jacks as well. But it is what it is. It was just, if there's something there that'll bend a rod, we'll have a go at it. Or not. 
Oh, close. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Oh, got him. Oh, <laughs> oh got him. Oh, no. Really? Yep. Bugger. There you are there. Definite bear of that one. Yeah. Just there he was. Spot locks. Best one drain we've seen yet, that one. Oh. Mm, don't know. Weighty, whatever it was, was weighty. They're hitting pretty hard, eh? Well, I sunk that to the bottom. Oh. I'm trying to see if there's any barrows under them, so. <clears throat> Oi. Hmm, I know. Oh, that was. That was it. That was it. Oh. That is it. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, I'm busted. No. Stay in the boat. Stay. That's a good fish. Get that net ready. He's a, he's a much better fish, this one, mate. Right in the mouth of that drain, he was. Catch. It's photo fish. These ones here, they um, they go back anything over 80. There's a rule in the boat, anything over 80 centimeters goes back, and he's he's probably about that 80, 82, so he's gonna go back this one. That's about. It. I saw it. Mud spoil coming out from under that branch there. We're always talking about pop marks in the mud, and you can see them all along the edge there where the barrows have been eating the, the jelly fawns. Oh, Jesus! He just about ate your lure then. I was looking at the middle. I know. I just turned to the right and seen him come up and eat you. Try to eat your lure. Big fish. Oh, yep. Yep. Oh, yes, that's a mundi. Baby mundi, but it's a mundi. When you're four, the when you're four pound. <laughs> I think the spot lock in case. Might need your net here. Oh, that's right. You've only got eight pound leader, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. There you go. Nice Pretty little fish, eh? Yeah. On the giggle. Yep. 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 Oh. Uh, yep. Little spot lock it here. Set the jump. Right. Shot pump him. It's a lot clearer there. Mm. It's a better barrel. <coughs> Big eel sick, that's a bloody good barrel. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. Bullhead's mucking around with his good four pound on this little 
This little rod. <laughs> Hardly any drag. <clears throat> As we came up to this snag, you could see something was eating jelly prawns. Jordy would never get off that, look at this. Hooked him properly? Yeah. I can't even get the hook around to get him out. Give us a look at that plastic when you're done, Will. Heaps of bait on that. Mm. There you go. Climbed up to the chimney. Mm. It's plastic. Oh, oh! <laughs> he bit better. Lucky he didn't look this one in your giggle stick. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got the smallest one there. Yeah. Technically that's a good thing. Hmm. If you it's a nice fish that one. Crimey. Yep, all crammed up. Oh, here's the lure. That's the lure Buffett got that last one on. Little curly tail. Oh, oh. Did you get hit? Yeah. Yeah. One of them grab it and come towards you once. 